morning, you guys. We are just about to board our plane. Sabu, you guys. First Hello. time in Sabu? Hello, Sabu. Yeah. My first time. Our first time in Sabu as well, not just for fun. So, the part of our journey together starts where everything is going to be new, not just for fun, <laughs> but even for the two of us. Now so you can really say we left Luzon. Finally, guys, we left Luzon for the first <laughs> time. <laughs> Someone said I'm Susie, that's me. Did you recognize me? Aww. Just arrived to Sebu and someone knows us, that's nice. <laughs> that's surprising. Surprising. Guys, we are stepping on Sebu <laughs> for the first time. I need to learn my Visaya now. And the only thing I know in Visaya is Ayo Ayo. What that means? And I'm not even exactly sure what that means. It's like Ingat or something like that. We will take a bus or we are trying to take a bus to the city center but first look at the airport it's so different than in Manila it's like so like peaceful and like green around here it's a cute very cute airport actually like just the whole area is nice full of plants and quite peaceful and I think this is our bus it's a little bus it looks like the bus has in Kecskemét in our home city in Hungary. Yes. Sebula in Kecskemét. Guys, we arrived with the bus to SM Sebu. It's not the seaside Sebu, there's two SMs here. SM City Sebu or something where we are at right now. We want to buy some food and some more supplies. Just from this ride throughout um, Cebu, the first look, the first impression is that it's not crowded and very clean and have like kind of like a chill vibe even though it's like a city. Ah, there we yeah. <laughs> We are getting distracted from our Go to get food, there's a lot of cool local fasalobong. Thank you guys, we just came to the food court and there are so many local food that is unfamiliar and like a lot of seafood and food grapes. It's so fun to see that the food selection is so different here. Lots of grilled fish and seafood and sea salads. It's so much fun. Hi guys! Mungo soup you guys. We have fish fillet, sea grapes, but they have fancy funny taking picture of the sea grapes. Sea grapes. <laughs> She said it's funny food because the little things are popping like a boba. Yeah, like tiny grapes. You guys, that's so cool. So many. I even had a hard time deciding, I kind of want to try everything. So many seed food options, so many vegetable options at all the food courts. There's no way I will be staying hungry in Sabu. Oh, this mungo is so good. Very good. Guys, I'll take my sea grapes also. The funny food. F funny, funny food. Mmm, so good. Tastes like ocean. Try it without the vinegar so she can taste it. Ah, 
salty. It tastes like the ocean. Love it, you guys. Shout out to all of our subscribers in Sabu. You guys are the sweetest. I've been in Sabu for less than an hour and met three of you guys. That's, that's like a record number in a day. <laughs> Court, you guys are the best. We are trying to walk to our accommodation from, na from the mall. It turns out that it's just a kilometer away. So at least we can also see like the streets of Sabu. I kind of expected it to be more Manila-like, but it's definitely more similar to like bigger cities in Pampanga or Cabanatuan city. It's wide and nice. I like it. Not much traffic. We checked into our accommodation, we will rest a bit until it's not so hard to walk around and explore Cebu anymore, but so this is a room for three, this is a bed one and then <laughs> we can we can sleep there with Jonathan, Fanny can use this bed. <laughs> We rested and freshened up and we are riding. It's one of those like little mini bus jeepneys like the ones in Manila. And modern Yeah, it's those modern jeepneys. And I love it so far. It's been so easy to commute here. Like, you just walk out anywhere and there's buses, jeepneys so easily. Yeah, you don't have to struggle. Yeah, so far it's been so easy. I love it. Extra good because it's raining. We move here. Maybe. I mean, based on my few hours of experience I had in Sabo, I would approve. Wow, you guys! So we are trying to make it to some tourist spots, like the Magellan's Cross and stuff, but we saw from the minibus that we are riding through our little palanque and we can't miss that. Everything here is so cute! <laughs> Every market area we pass through so far in Sabo that I've seen, like the fruits are organized so cutely, like in this little basket. Mangoes can you say 80 per kilo? 80 per kilo? <laughs> you guys! Also, ask me. As paradiso. They are like the. Yeah, it's funny, it's like what's that? Yeah, it's kamatis or par tomatoes. It's green. Mangosteen is it's 80 peso per kilo. At the home it will At be 160. 160 for half a kilo. <laughs> <laughs> you guys! I know it shouldn't be a surprise because um, all this, we are in Visaya area now and all the fruits are from Visaya or Mindanao area of the Philippines. All the cool fruits that I like the most like marang, mangosteen, it's um, of course cheaper in this area, but I was just so surprised to see suddenly that it's just 80 pesos per kilo. Funny can also try. It's a for it. Oh, you Oh, make a set of It helps you. Oh, nice. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good Savanyu! Too Sour! My favorite fruit, not just in the Philippines, but my favorite fruit like ever. It's nice and fruity, I'll mm -hmm. have one also. Mm -hmm. No problem, how are you? Oh, so fruity. You guys, her first mango steam. Oh, this is nice, I love it. Oh, it's so good. Mm. It's a very tasty one. I see them. <laughs> no! 
was Masarap. There. I wonder how's Masarap in Visaya. How's Masarap in Visaya? Masarap in Visaya? Lami, lami. 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 Oh, how did you know? You speak ah. Visaya? <laughs> Secret Thailand. Lami. I hear it. Thank you. Lami, Lami. 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 Lami, Visaya or Lami. Rapinam. Uh -huh. Lami. Lami. Lami, God. You guys, in Nueva Vizcaya, I was so happy to find a few pieces of marang here. It's everywhere, like rocks, like <laughs> trucks loaded with marang. This is awesome. Fanny's favorite, always happy to see calamansi. Calamansi. <laughs> interesting you guys like I can see that we are walking in the Philippines but the details are different and back in Luzon like just the jeepneys are different the market view is a bit different so cool we are approaching one of the tourist spots of the area now which is Magellan's Cross so it's like a very Historically significant spot here in the Philippines. Oh, it's here. So that's so cool that this was the very spot where Magellan um, planted his cross as they were traveling, exploring with this huge cross, trying to convert the locals into the Christian religion. It's so like. Not even significant to just local history, but like even if you don't learn about Philippines history, you definitely learn about Magellan. So that's so cool that you can see like a so like significant spot just here. The whole environment is so cool. Though. It's like a nice park area. And actually what they don't always teach like in other countries, like of course like Bakat from in Hungary that Magellan actually died here in the Philippines, was killed by um, Lapu Lapu. So that's another like historical detail that people who are not from the Philippines might not know. <laughs> the funny likes the cucumber that is recycled from a car tire. Mm -hmm. So cute. This is Fort, Fort San Pedro. So cool that it's not just like the fort in the middle of the streets, but there's a so beautiful park around it with beautiful trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is the perfect activity in Cebu, you guys. Just sit at the beautiful environment of the fort and eat the best fruit ever. Eat the mangosteen. Honey loves the mangosteen also. Our adventures discovering Cebu continues. Now we are trying to get to the other Assam, which is the big famous Assam. As I heard about it, that it's also one of the biggest malls of the Philippines after the ones in Manila. SMC side. SMC side, but it's kind of like three, four kilometers away. Just three now. We Just walk. three kilometers walk. away. Right now we are not as lucky with the random public transportations. We didn't find any so far, but. At least we see a lot of Cebu while walking around, both main roads, inside roads, everything. Inside. <laughs> 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 
but Gata tries it. Well, Fanny likes the palanque, she said, because the vegetables are so big and round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the tricycles here are somewhat different, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard to show because Yeah, it's so different. It's like a little, like a pedicab, but it's motorized. It's completely different. It's like the death star we have to... <laughs> we have to go in the middle. <laughs> okay, I don't know. We are trying to find a food, but first we are trying to find some cyber zone because Fanny's mouse broke and then she can't work tomorrow anymore if she don't have one. So we will, while exploring SMC side, we will try to find her a new mouse. Miraculously, we found the cyber zone. That was a lot of walking. I'm very thirsty. Me too, I'm hungry. This mall trips lately, like Molofeja yesterday, SMC side today, it's like a hiking, like an indoor hiking adventure. Here, mom. Mom, mom. Here. Oh, mom. Oh. Here, mom. Cheap My mouse. Dad. This mom. This mom? Oh, as if you. That cheapest. Cheap mouse, mom. Cheapest. Mm. Oh, this is cheaper. Cheap mm. mouse. We need to ask if they have one with a ball. <laughs> you want a retro one with the still a ball, not the no, sensor? No. no? Mm. I think I choose the pink. But thank you. She just needs a disposable temporary mouse, but this gonna get the more expensive one just for the color. Girl, mm. girl things. Girl things. So <laughs> the, uh, very cheap. She has a reason. Still very cheap. <laughs> What plug does it have, mom? Um, USB port, mom. Nah. Cool. <laughs> Thank she you. has two helper employees. <laughs> More of these yummy seafood, you guys, that they seem to sell in all food courts in Sabu. We got some crab mixture, calamari, and a very nice looking vegetable also. Mmm, very good one. Fun is enjoying a pizza. <laughs> 